Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to show you how to do a service on this Polaris Sportsman 450 rolling drum. I'm Chris. And I'm Jim. And this is CJ Mudco. filter socket you don't need one just makes it easier to do if you have a socket as opposed to a wrench you need your ratchet your extension and a six mil allen key socket now we went with getting the kit directly from polaris just because it's easier it's a whole oil change kit a lot easier than going out and trying to figure out what kind of oil you need and yada 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 and the price point is the same either way so just get the kit and show you what it comes with Get your oil filter, obviously, and obviously your oil, synthetic 550. Nice thing about this kit too is it comes with the drain plug washer. Okay, so we're here on the side of the four-wheeler. Right here, you got your oil dipstick cover. So you just wanna pull that out. It's the little plastic cover, clips in, and then, there you got your dipstick slash fill. We're just gonna unscrew that. Usually comes right out. If it doesn't, if it's a little tight, just put a pair of pliers on it and break it loose. That is all. Okay, there's our dipstick. Okay, now we're gonna take our ratchet, socket, and we're gonna head underneath the machine. We'll loosen up the drain plug. You know, right here, you got your entire skid plate right in the center of that, pretty much in the center of the machine. You got your little, little Allen key drain plug. Just break it loose. Don't take it all the way out without the drain pan underneath it. Once you get it broken loose, you should be able to just take the socket, fit it in there, and take it out by hand. Well, that's draining, we're gonna take our drain plug and we're gonna head over to the bench. Okay, so we're here on the bench. We got our drain plug out. We're just gonna take, it's, it's simple. Just take that off. Take your new washer out of the bag. Literally slide it on. It's ready for reinstallation. Okay, so on these 450s, it's a little difficult to get to the oil filter. So the best way we found to do it is you take a filter socket, just put it right on your ratchet, and just sneak that in there. You gotta work around the battery and the motor mount. Okay, so the best way to get to the filter is start on your right side of your machine and just reach down in there between your mounts and your battery and your shaft. Once it's loosened up enough, just unscrew it by hand. Make sure you keep the drain bucket under there. So now back here on our cart, we're gonna take our filter and around the seal, we're just gonna take a dab of oil and I'll just put it around your gasket. Make it easier to come off the next time you gotta take it off. Now we're gonna throw that on the machine. Okay, and back to the machine here. You're gonna have to kind of snake it through. A little bit of a pain, but you can get it. And now just make sure you get your oil filter started and you'll it'll spin real easy. Make sure you're not cross-threading anything. It should spin just like that. You should be able to just flick it and it, have it spin around. Tighten her up by hand. Okay, so after it's hand tight, just take your filter socket, come back to it, and just get a few more turns until it's good and snug. We do a lot of rough riding, so you gotta make sure it's not gonna go anywhere. Right about there. Now we're back under the machine. We're gonna put the drain plug back in. Just start it on your Allen socket. 
the best way to do it since you can't really get your fingers in there with the skid plate in the way. And line it up in the hole and always start it by hand. You pretty much get it just about all the way in by hand. Okay, and we're gonna take and just tighten up our drain plug. No need to be too tight. You got a nice new washer on there. With that, wipe off any excess oil. You don't want any drips on your nice floor. Also, be sure to wipe around where the oil filter came off because that'll make drips too. Okay, and that's it for down here. Okay, we're back in the top side of our machine here. We're just going to take a nice long funnel just like this. We're going to slide it down in that dipstick tube hole. Just like that. So yeah, the sink takes two quarts of oil, exactly what comes in your kit. So yeah, when you're pouring oil, the best way is to do it to prevent that glug glug. Just hold it either flat like this, pour it out, or stand it up like that, pour it out. That way you don't get that annoying. It splashes everywhere, you don't want that. Okay, once you got your two quarts in it, put your dipstick back in. We're just gonna double check the level. So these are plastic threads. Also be careful with these. They should start real easy. Just thread it in all the way, and then it's you gotta unscrew it all the way and check the level. Okay, so once you get your dipstick screwed back in, just gonna take and fire it up. Let it run for a few seconds. Then kill it, let the oil settle for another few seconds, and then check the level. Okay, so after you had it running for a few seconds and you shut it back down, let it sit just a couple seconds. Pull your dipstick back out. Wipe it off. Then back in. And our level is perfect to the max line. Okay, after you got your dipstick in and tight, just put your little plastic cover back on. Put in your little tabs first. Push it right into place. And that's how you change the oil. Camera. Okay, now we're just gonna check our air filter. That's located under your seat. The seat, nice and easy, pulls up, slides off. Got all these clips under here. Six of them, just push them back, make a nice snap. Push them right out the way, pick that up. Slide that right out of your way. Okay, and after just checking your air filter, everything looks good in here. It's pretty clean. It's obviously a little dusty, dirty, but it's not anywhere near bad. Um, Polaris doesn't recommend changing that until your second service anyway. So I just wanted to give it a check, look at it, and make sure all is well in there, which it is. So we're gonna put our cover back on. Start with the center clips, give them a good push. Make sure you hear that snap. Now just put your seat back on. And slide it forward. Line up your little pegs into the rubbers. Give it a good push and you're back on. Okay, after you change your oil, we're gonna do a reset on the service interval. All you gotta do for that, nice and simple, just hold mode. Much options pops up. Scroll through, service hours, press mode. Choose your service hours you want. Polaris recommends going up to 50. I'm gonna take and just set it at 40 because we run it hard and go through water and stuff. So after you select it, just press mode. It logs it in there and you're good. So that's how you do a service on your Polaris Force 450. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. 
we got more videos we're planning on coming out with. We want to do some upgrades to the 450. We got some riding videos we're going to do. We even got some stuff, upgrades we're going to do to a Razor. So, stay tuned.